How about let's start this off with a nice cold start. Kinda cold start. stayed at it may have fluctuated one or two obviously it's up to 16.2 but if we go up here the last 600 miles which has been two tanks of supposed summer gas we've got 17.2 miles per gallon so a full mile per gallon better during summer gas rather than winter gas so I'm this is I'm filming this just so I have this footage prior to talking about this but it's pretty incredible for whatever reason which I'm as of filming this I have not done the research to why but in the video you're watching I will be explaining why you get better miles per gallon with summer gas rather than winter gas but I'm very interested to find out why that is because that's just crazy having different blends obviously there's reasons which I have not fully researched yet but yeah a full mile per gallon better just by the swap of blends and that's all 87 low grade that's what I run in this truck you know you can freak out over that or not I don't know why you would and if it's not tuned for something higher 87 in my opinion is fine as long as the vehicle is happy and I would say mine's pretty happy with it so one mile per gallon difference is pretty incredible so I guess I'm gonna do my research and then we're gonna talk about why it's like that so after doing a decent amount of research you know quick five-minute Google search um, there actually is winter gas and summer gas and it's a hundred percent genuine thing it there's it's not a scam it's not a joke it is an actual thing so I've got a website a web page pulled up which I will read um, exactly you know what is the difference and what's the cause and 
does that is that the reason why it affects your gas prices and in return why am i getting better miles per gallon on summer gas so i'm going to jump to past me reading the article back of the house and so i'm not reading it on my phone in here and i know people get triggered over that so back to me here we are with newsroom and I'm going to read the article. As you can tell by my voice, I'm still sick, but I'm going to try to get through it. It says, every spring gas prices seem to skyrocket to the highest prices of the year. Why does this happen? In explanation, we hear experts say that many of the refineries are down for maintenance while transitions to winter blend and summer blend gasolines. But what does that mean? The difference between summer and winter blend gasolines involves the reed vapor pressure, RVP, of the fuel. RVP is the measure of how easily the fuel evaporates at a given temperature. The more volatile the gasoline, higher RVP, the easier it evaporates. Winter blend fuel uses a higher RVP because the fuel must be able to evaporate at a lower temperature for the engine to operate properly, especially when the engine is cold. If the RVP is too low on a frigid day, the vehicle will have a hard time start and once start will run rough. They don't have any temperature set, so like, I mean, what 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 temperatures it says? Is this like below freezing? This is like negative? Like, what is this? I don't know. Probably nothing that I will ever experience here in Alabama. But anyways, reducing the volatility of the summer gas decreases emissions that can per, that can contribute to unhealthy ozone and smog levels. A lower RVP also helps prevent drivability problems such as vapor lock on hot days, especially in older vehicles. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency says conventional summer blend gasoline contains 1.7% more energy than winter blend gas, which is one of the reasons why gas mileage is slightly better in the summer. However, the summer blend is also more expensive to produce and the cost is passed on to the motorist. The switch between the summer fuels happens twice a year, once in the fall, winter blend, and again in the spring, summer blend. The changeover requires significant work at the refineries, so oil companies schedule their maintenance for those times which they are already, quote, down for the blend switches. So basically in the winter time, it has the higher RVP in order to evaporate easier so that when it's really cold, the engine can still pick up everything and, and burn the fuel properly. And I mean, I guess that makes sense, but like I said, what, what's the temperature at, I wonder? And then it says in the summertime, it is a lower one because if, I don't know if you know what vapor lock is, basically your engine won't run. Yeah, so it's a real thing and that's pretty crazy. So I guess we're gonna jump back to past me or future me or I don't know, me in the truck at some point. So what do y'all think about that? Basically, in a nutshell, it's how easily the gasoline can evaporate and I guess in return, that just allows it to burn better whenever it's in summer grade um, like I said just in a nutshell but that's pretty weird I mean you know you, I don't know if this is across the United States it seems like maybe that would be something worth having in you know out west or up north or something wherever it's really cold uh, I know for a fact I've never had well I mean I guess it would make sense because it's winter grade but um, even like the Mustang that I won't run many tanks of gas through you know, you'd think probably it probably had summer gas in it for quite a while deep into winter um, I've never re remotely had any kind of hard starting issue it affects older vehicles more I don't really know you know this is just a very random video but I thought it would be kind of insightful to people that you know had never maybe never even heard about summer versus winter gas and apparently that's why it's more expensive because it's more expensive to make I you know that's what I gathered from that article so I mean pretty much everything these days is a conspiracy so who, who knows but um, I thought that was pretty weird and it's pretty crazy I'm sure I've already put the clip in where I was driving and showing y'all and kind of talking about it a little bit that way but it is pretty crazy to go a full mile per gallon better so y'all need to understand maybe you're thinking oh 16 17 miles per gallon is terrible and then you're gonna have the people that get like 12 miles per gallon normally they're gonna be like wow that's amazing and no this is not hand calculated it is on my screen but at the end of the day the actual full number doesn't matter the difference between it is a full mile per gallon difference even if this is let's say this is just completely wrong and I'm getting five miles per gallon which I'm obviously not but let's just say it's up one so that's obviously six so obviously it is a legitimate thing but um, as far as my driving this like I'm running uh, 51 right now a 
up a hill. Uh, if I was just normally driving, there's a cop, so I'm not gonna, you know, accelerate. We're, we're just chilling right here. But typical roads for me are pretty hilly, turns, all kind of stuff, a lot of downshifts, that kind of stuff. So 16, 17 miles per gallon in this truck is, I'm great with that. You know, I'm content with it. Sure, I wish it would get 25, but I just know that's not gonna happen. It's too much to ask, but, um, yeah, so if you're getting, and then like no interstate or nothing, so if you're one of those people that are getting like 20 something miles to the gallon, you drive 80 mile an hour down the interstate all day, that's why, okay? That's not my kind of driving. I know everyone's noticed, or at least everybody that pays for their own gas has noticed, summertime gas prices are more expensive, and they're, they can get downright brutal at times. I'm sure everyone has noticed that summertime gas prices go up, and apparently, this is why it's not just the gas companies trying to screw us because they know we're out driving it's an actual supposed legitimate process that they have to do to change the gas in order for us to have happy vehicles i don't know how much of that i buy but uh you know apparently according to online you know the internet never lies so apparently it is a legitimate thing and so i guess i've got an answer hopefully y'all do as well so with all that being said, hopefully you did enjoy. Comment down below if you knew this or you didn't know it or whatever. But with all that being said, I will catch y'all in the next one.